my name is Maureen. If you're new here, remember to subscribe. If you already subscribed and you're back, thank you for coming back. Today we are looking into a one bedroom house in Feather Estate. This is a Feather series and we are continuing due to public demand. So this is a house that is still under finishing. So the final finishing is being done in this house and uh, painting has just been concluded. It's a very spacious house. It's a very well designed one bedroom in Feather. So this is the living room of the house and it's very big, look at that. The house is brightly colored so the house looks bright. The light penetration in the house is very good. So there's a corridor leading to the, to the one bedroom, the toilet and the kitchen. This is the corridor, look at that. Generally, the house is very spacious as compared to other one bedrooms that have toured in Feather. Look at this. So, this is the kitchen. The kitchen is very well designed, very brightly colored. The tiles are very nice. It's very spacious. I always say in my videos that show me the kitchen and I'll tell you if the house is good. From the kitchen of this house, I could tell that this house is excellently finished. Look at that. Look at the finishing of the kitchen. Look at this. to do a conclusive tour of Feather Estate before I move to Goomba due to public demand. So remember to subscribe for more of my content on house tours. I'll be mixing my content. I'll be doing live vlogs and house tours, but more of house tours. I've done other house tours in other estates, so I'll leave a link in the description box so that you can see the other house tours. This is the kitchen. This is the sink. Water is there throughout in Feather because most of the buildings have boreholes dug in them and there is county water also. So water is plenty in Feather. These are the lower cabinets of the, of the kitchen. They are very very spacious. Generally the kitchen is good. If I was looking for one bedroom in Feather, I'd reconsider the first house that I did in Feather or this one. These are the two houses that are found to have a very clean finishing and bright tiles. Look at that. So from the kitchen we go direct to the toilet of the house and the bedroom. So outside the toilet is a sink. The toilet is very well spacious and it doesn't have a separate bathroom, so it's a toilet stroke bathroom. very bright so generally the house is very bright so this is the bedroom don't worry about 
about the the things in the in the bedroom because the house is undergoing finishing so there are so many buckets of paint in the house so this is the toilet this is the bedroom and the bedroom is in suit so this is the toilet inside the bedroom which is very special so it's a toilet stroke a bathroom in the bedroom so there's another toilet outside the bedroom that is the main house toilet then there's an ensuit bedroom so it's a very nice house the design is very good the bedroom is very spacious look at that the light penetration in this house is so good and i love it look at that the bedroom is very very spacious I've done other house tours, so remember to follow the link in the description box to view the other houses that I did in Feather. The Feather series will continue because there are so many houses, so many house designs in Feather, and I'll give you a snippet of all the designs, all the houses, all the sizes, one bedroom to bedroom bed sitters in Feather. So stay tuned by subscribing and clicking the notification button. So this is the wardrobe and the wardrobe is very spacious. The inside is very big. Look at that. Look at that. Feather is located between two major roads and it's adjacent to Mombasa Road. So the two major roads are Jogo Road and Outer Ring Road. So it's a very efficient place to stay. 45 minutes to Nairobi CBD. Very convenient. And any family size can stay in Feather. The rent of this house is 20,000. Yes, 20,000. And it matches the size of the house. So feel free to comment down below. Feel free to, free to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Remember to subscribe, click the notification button for more of the house tours in Kenya. Generally, I'll start with Nairobi and I'll go per county and I'll show you the houses or the different sizes, the different types, the variety of houses available in our country. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe.